Hello everyone, and welcome back to CSSBattle.dev. It's been so long since I've been able to record my voice. It's great to be back. <clears throat> Creaky chair. Glad you're here. Cup of tea. Oh yes, that's nice. Oh, here we go. Nice little shape here. Uh, we've got three dark blue triangles and um, hmm, something like a squared container centered in our body. Um, our triangles are kind of hmm, kinked off to the top right. Um, yeah, it kind of reminds me of a kite. I like it. Anyway, um, I was thinking uh, that, you know, I, I kind of realized that um, some of my viewers are looking exactly for this. CSS Battle Daily. What's today? October 17th. Google it. YouTube it. Boom. Tutorial found it. And, uh, you know, you're going to you're going to stumble upon my stuff which is pretty common. That's how I found a couple of YouTube channels that are doing the same thing, right? Um, kind of why I got started, because there we are kind of few and far between, and um, respect to all of us, but we aren't exactly consistent either, you know? So um, here we are. But, you know, I, I realized that um, some viewers, looking at my analytics just kind of stumble upon my video with random uh, random searches so if you're here on a random search or if you're somebody I know hello welcome glad you're here if you aren't sure what we're doing here the point of CSS battle is that they give you an image that's that to the right and our challenge is to use CSS code to match that image and um, it, it's fun it's just fun to do uh, keeps your your brain active and keeps you um, keeps you sharp on the CSS side of things if you don't know what CSS is it's what creates the design of a web page so you have something called uh, HTML which is kind of your Mm, your blueprint uh well even a blueprint kind of has style it's more like the skeleton html is the skeleton it's got all of the elements uh, that you're going to use so if you're going to have a button on your page if you're going to have a drop down if you're going to have an image you put that kind of stuff kind of like in a list format in html what css does is it takes that list and styles all of these things it's called a cascading style sheet so we take that list that we created in HTML and styles each element um, however you want to using this code here that you see on the far left. So um, you might see as we progress, right, we start off uh, with something called a div, which I forget what it really stands for, but I like to think of it as like a divider, which is just a square, like an empty square. Um, and in, in here, it starts off as an orange square. And then using CSS, we can move it um, towards the, the center of our, uh, of our body, which is like our big box that we're playing around with. That's, that's like our environment is the body. And um, div is the box that we're trying to style and match to the stuff on the right. So here you can see there are four triangles here, right? So you can assume we're going to use four divs or four elements. So uh, whenever we start, we, we start by listing all of our elements and then we kind of style it as we go. Um, now in, in this one, uh, I learned something new. So usually when you want to create a triangle with a div, um, the way a border is set up, actually, a border is like 
um, a triangle that its point gets flatter with the mm, the bigger your element is. And if you don't have an element at all, you have a point, which creates the triangle. Um, so usually for a triangle, you create three points, right? Because your triangle has three sides, um, three points for your border. So usually you would have like border top, border right, border left, and then leave border bottom empty. That way you create a triangle. However, if you want to split a square in half, I found that kind of same deal. Your actual element is uh, zero width, zero height, but your triangle, you're only going to use two border sides. So here, um, I think I did border top and border left, and that creates our triangle. So a triangle is essentially just a square split in half, and that's what we're doing with our CSS. We are taking our square and splitting it into two pieces of a border. And there you have it. Um, I had a little challenge here. <laughs> a little challenge here trying to, to center it. Um, funny enough, I'm usually really good about centering things. Uh, but it turns out it's because I gave one of our elements um, a width and a height. So it kind of offset everything else. You know, I figure it out, delete it, and boom. Took some experimenting, right? Trying uh, to adjust one, one. Uh, oh, what do you call them? Characteristics? One attribute of our, one style attribute of our HTML element. But yeah, there you go. Eventually, I figured it out and centered our kite completely. My mouse, I'm so excited. Ooh, I did it. I did it, everybody. Green tea today. I was gonna drink some oolong, but I found that oolong has the same amount of caffeine as black tea, and I'm not trying to stay up till five in the morning tonight. So, green tea it is. Gotta get some herbal tea to maybe relax myself at the end of the night. But for now, green tea does its job. Delicious. Oh, and you may notice um, in this one we used a, a class, uh, which if you don't know, classes um, kind of classify a bunch of our divisive elements, right? Um, so for this one, because so many elements were so alike, I classed a bunch of these guys together. Um, yeah. Usually I would ID these things and, and put little commas, but um, it turned out that if I ID'd each element, it would take more characters than just classifying them. As always, I'm sure there's another way. I'm always excited to see the um, some new discoveries on how to do these things. But that's it, guys. That's all I have. Like I said, glad to be back. Hope you've missed me and missed my voice. <laughs> all right. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.